welcome uh, on Echer Moda. I'm very delighted to be on Echer Moda. Uh, hi, how are you? How are you, Ali? Fine, thank you. Do you think that the fashion industry is in crisis? It's in some kind of situation, definitely, which is reflective of what is happening globally. Uh, there is definitely a, a downturn in most economies in the world. But to go on to the positive side, the Middle East is an emerging, growing market. There is a lot to be done. There is a strong appetite for fashion in the region. And it only gives opportunity for our regional designers to actually come through and shine and grow and to potentially compete with global brands. What are the most prominent fashion problems today? We have problems like manufacturing. There isn't much here. Uh, fashion education is, to a great extent, absent. I mean, we do have a lot of great fashion schools in Lebanon, but in, in I think in the Gulf, it's just slowly coming up. But the great thing is we are quite abundant in talent. On top of the very, very strong Khaliji and Middle Eastern undertones and influence, you have a lot of nationalities that have migrated uh, to this region and call it their home, which gives you a very eclectic sort of like taste in design sensibilities. What is the global rank of Fashion Forward Dubai compared to other fashion festivals? We're not the kind of platform that want to claim a number or some kind of ranking. We launched Fashion Forward to champion Middle Eastern talent. We have changed and evolved our perspective. As you know, we, are, we have gone veering away from the traditional format of Fashion Weeks. We have adopted an on-season uh, perspective, which means in this week we are showing uh, fall winter. I think we're lucky to be based in Dubai. Dubai is a very strong brand by itself. And anything you do in Dubai, if it's done well, we automatically get uh, the ears and eyes of the global audience. And we're quite lucky to you know, be on the radar. I, I think we've been noticed uh, in a lot of the fashion markets. Uh, so yeah, but I wouldn't necessarily rank us. I mean, there's always this debate of who's number five, and I think <laughs> it's, it's really unnecessary. What have you learned from the past experience of Fashion Forward Dubai? You know, the industry has so many sort of like evolving facets, whether they are the designers themselves, they're all at different sort of like places in their careers. Then you also have the retail sector, who we are hoping to uh, give more than the token support for regional designers. I know that at least in this season when we conducted what we call September issue, wherein we put our designers future collections, which is spring summer 20, in front of the eyes of regional buyers, you know, they, they came to Dubai for this two-day event. We felt that there is definitely a growing interest for them. How do you encourage a new talent? My advice for any aspiring fashion designer is to study to try and work first for other brands and learn and obviously create a business plan. Creativity must come with a business sense as well. Are there clear requirements for talent selection? Yes, we have our basic parameters and guidelines. Like you need to have been a brand that is at least two years old, you've done so many seasons and, and then we, we basically look at the PR that they've done, we look at their social handles, their whole uh, business standing as you must but I also add that while we have these parameters sometimes there are no rules in fashion yeah. you have guidelines but sometimes when you spot someone that is just really creative and is like you want to just showcase them we do that as well you know finally yes. Bong, I want to know do you seek to create a new generation of fashion? I think we'd like to be there always as a platform and we will continue to showcase what is current. And I think fashion is fast evolving. I did not even understand what sustainability was a few years ago and now that is uh, more and more becoming a required necessity. In that way, 
fashion is changing. Before, you always have to be high-heeled uh, when you're lug luxurious, but now you see a lot of women in fancy clothes wearing comfortable shoes. So a, lo a lot of this is sort of uh, changing, so. Thank you, Bank, for having us in Fashion Forward Dubai, and I wish you all the luck. Thank you, Ali, for always supporting us. You've always been there from the very beginning, and it is really much appreciated uh, what you do and how you open up our platform uh, to the Levant, so uh, thank you.